Hi there, I'm Terry Cross, the Puppy Diva, and this is a review sponsored by Agatha's Apothecary on puppy crate training and the Rich L Pet Pen. There's Agatha saying that she would much prefer not to have to work on her crate training. Thank you. So she's going to nap while we discuss good options for puppy training. This is Daisy who's ready to take her nap and you can see she's very content. Um, this kind of a setup I prefer for daytime use versus using a, a, say a solid sided crate. Um, it's a good size. It's two foot wide by three foot long which gives plenty of room for the puppy. Um, in this kind of setting I don't worry about blocking off one side or the other. I think it is good for puppy to have room for toys, um, lots of bedding. Um, she's pretty content in there so you can see it's a, a nice option. I like the version without the top. I think that gives a little more flexibility as far as reaching in and out and not having to um, use the gate on the front. There is a door um, and you can access puppy through the door. Um, as far as that goes though, the version that comes without the top and bottom is perfectly sufficient and I actually prefer it. Um, it, it just feels a little bit more open and, and puppy friendly. Puppy can't get out the top so that's not an issue as far as I'm concerned. Assembly is simple. There are four pins that drop down in the corner, holes that correspond. Um, you can take it apart and put it back together in just a couple of minutes. Um, this version is about $65 on Amazon. Again, um, I would say that the version with the floor and the top um, also has casters and it runs closer to about mm, $250, um, which is kind of you know, a bit more than the average family needs. I think this is perfectly sufficient, keeps puppy content and happy and, and safe while you're busy. If you run to the grocery store or whatnot, this is a perfect place to pop a puppy in for a few minutes. All right, thank you from Agatha's Apothecary and the Puppy Diva, and take good care of your puppies.